Welcome to the series of how this render was made. Today we are going to analyze this project, made by Hector Javier, an architect from Honduras who specialized in 3D visualization. For this project, he was inspired by the Nordic architecture, that is to say cold climate, clean and dark environments. These are the basic settings he used in the scene. From this base model, his contribution was to work on the small details. He used basic modeling techniques, extrusion, insertion, and chamfering. The exterior walls are made of boxes with a small chamfer on the edges. The same techniques just mentioned were used to model the other details. To model the windows, I used the three dismal sweep modifier and as a profile I used the shape shown in the image. To model the exterior and interior floors, he used the floor generator plugin. It is very easy to use and you can download it for free at CG Source. He modeled the snow and the ground using a plane to which he applied extrusion and deformed it using 3DS Max Spain's deform tool. For the trees and bushes, he used 3D models from the R&D group and Evermotion libraries. The material for the exterior walls is of ray blendal, made of two wood materials, one dark and one lighter. These were later blended together using a mask. The interior wood floor has a vraimtal with multi-texture in the diffuse slot. The floor generator script works well with it, as it assigns different tidies to each plank. The image shows the interior wood floor, following these instructions. The condensation on the window glass was created with a drop texture in the bump slot and using the same texture inverted in the refraction slot. For the inside of the glass, he used the same materials without bump. The water material is composed of two vraimtal and mixed with a noise map. The texture of the cushions is of vraimtal with a fall off in the diffuse slot. Using color correct can be very helpful to get reflection and brightness maps. The exterior lighting is created using a Vradome light from Peter Guthrie using it as a texture and a little desaturated. The same dome light is used for the interior lighting and I add V-ray plane lights on the windows. The V-ray physical camera parameters for the exterior are the same as the default. Disabling the vignette stab and for the white balance he set it to neutral and also corrected the verticals. We leave you with the final images, but first if you found the video interesting please like and subscribe to analyze more projects.